What is going on, everybody? Matitude 22. Oh, excuse me, I had the hiccups. Matitude 22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Okoye Build a Figure Wave Eric Killmonger figure. Really excited about this guy. But as always, before we take a look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Let's see, it's got the Black Panther movie logo right there. Killmonger, Legend series on the top. Black Panther logo. Build a figure Okoye. On the bottom, writing barcode. Pretty standard. Nice shot of Killmonger on the other side. On the side and on the other side, same shot of Killmonger. On the back, we have a brief little bio if you want to read that. Go ahead and pause this video now. Nice shot of the figure. Build a figure. Other figures available. More writing on the bottom. Little Hasbro logo, marvel.com. All right, guys. So with the packaging done, let's take a quick break. And then I can get this guy out of the box. And then we can take a closer look. Okay, so looking at Killmonger or Eric Killmonger, if you will. <clears throat> out of the package and let's uh, just remove the weapons for now we can kind of take a look at those later so very nice looking figure uh he is pretty for the most part a repaint of the black panther some slight differences so for starters the face and the face definitely looks good definitely like how the design kind of looks like a snout snowling snowling i meant to say snarling snarling but it looks good spoilers for the movie but if you when uh spoilers for the movie guys i'm gonna give you five seconds to get out okay so spoilers for the movie if you look at his body it's all scarred and whatnot so they did a really good job of replicating that because there's some nice texturing going on all over this guy just on the face body legs you can see that you can see all the bumps those are his scars and they look very very nice i mean other than that the gold is pretty solid you can see um mine has a little paint rub right there right there not major, but it is there nonetheless. But uh, the belt. On the back, the belt is kind of hit and miss. Uh, I, I mean, I guess black on gold. A little challenging, maybe, but a lot of paint rub. But mm, minor. It's, it's minor, so it doesn't bother me too, too much. And some nice details on the claws. Those are all, you can see gold, bit of sloppy paint work, but I mean, what can you do? It is what it is, right? Other than that, I mean, he's pretty much a solid black, except for the little bit of gold you have, and there's some more gold on the feet. Let me show those really quick. Nice. So looking at his articulation, the head moves side to side. You get a small forward and back, not very much. For the shoulders, they are on a butterfly joint, so you can get that extra range of motion. These ones are a little bit stiff, but uh, you do have the butterfly joints. So you do get that motion. Full rotation on the arm. Of course, elbow moves up this far. Moves in this far. Of course, again, thanks to the butterfly joint. Very, he's really, really stiff, this guy. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation, no, no wrist hinge, waist twist, ab crunch. Good ab crunch, man. Looks, can look really, really far down. So really liking that ab crunch. Not very much back, but the down is really good. Hips move out this far. You can kick this far forward. Not so far back, thigh swivel, double jointed knee, ankle rockers, and the ankles hinge forward and back. So 
po very poseable. This guy, I will say that about this guy is he's very, very poseable, which I like. Now let's see if we can just get him to stand. So obviously the two hands I gave him are the two weapon holding hands. He does have two other hands. Try to get those out. So he has these two. That was hard to, hard to see. He has these two open claws for slashing people's eyes out. And looking at his weapons, again, if you've seen the movie, he has the broken spear. So very nice detail on that. A lot of paint apps, a lot of different stuff going on on that one. And he has this, I don't know what you would call it. It looks like a sword. It's kind of like a big cleaver. Fits like that. I don't know if this is supposed to, but yeah. So he has a big, like, cleaver. If you've seen the movie, I mean, he does... I, I will, He does use these weapons. So I do like that. Like, I'm glad they didn't just give him... They didn't just give him two random weapons. He does actually use these. And, of course, he comes with the Okoye Build-A-Figure piece. But we'll look at that when we look at that figure. So all in all, man, I gotta say, really digging Killmonger. Very poseable, looks very good, a lot of stuff going on with this guy. And I mean, he's Black Panther's villain, so this is one you'd probably most likely want to pick up. So yeah, I'm going to say go ahead and do that, pick this guy up. I think you'll have fun. But guys, that is it, I hope you had fun watching this video. If you did, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already guys, because I'm bringing you a new video daily new videos daily sometimes you get a double upload so come best way to make sure you don't miss anything please also like this video share it with your friends leave me a comment tell me what you think of the figure tell me what you think of the don't even tell me what you think of the movie I'd, I'd like to know what you guys think of the movie check out all my social media links i will leave those in the description oh also visit the sanctuary page on facebook and check out the sanctuary youtube channel while you're on that channel, give us a subscribe there. Also, check out every Friday night, we have the Sanctuary Podcast where we talk movies and comics and video games and TV shows and, of course, action figures and everything else. So join us there. Great time. Great, great people. So check us out there. And, uh, guys, I think that's going to be it. You have yourselves a great day. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys, and I will catch you next time with another figure review. And bye.